flashback to 2005. At that year's E3, Nintendo hinted that the Wii, which back then was called The Revolution, might launch with Metroid Prime 3. Well, that didn't happen. You're late. We were about to leave you behind. Metroid Prime 3 Corruption is the do-or-die game for the Wii, the most important indication hardcore gamers have that Nintendo's underpowered system can deliver an experience deep and rich enough to rival anything on the PS3 or 360. So, does it deliver? Well, the answer is yes. Mostly yes. The obvious upgrade are the reworked controls. You can use the Wii Remote to aim directly at the screen. Like before, you can still lock onto your targets, but it seems like there's a bit more tendency to lose the lock. As a result, there's more responsibility on you to precisely aim at the targets you need to hit. You can't help but shake the feeling that this game would actually be easier to control competently with the GameCube controller. Unfortunately, that simply isn't an option. That seems inefficient. Also, using your left hand to fling your grappling hook in battle can sometimes get a bit hairy. But overall, the controls work pretty much as you'd expect them to. One other thing, don't expect to play for more than a couple of hours at a time. Any more than that and you'll get some serious repetitive motion strains in your wrist. Our situation doesn't look good. The last time I got wrist cramps this bad, I had just purchased Charm Season 4 on DVD, if you know what I mean. God, that was a good 30 minutes. Speaking of great stories, Metroid Prime 3 has, well, a pretty good story. Identified as bounty hunter, Samus Gary. The Galactic Federation believes that the space pirates, rascally devils that they are, have corrupted a computer network known as the Aurora Unit. There is no time Samus. Samus and a motley collection of other bounty hunters must battle the space pirates who are concurrently attacking the Federation base. Unfortunately, she becomes infected with Phazon, too much of which can lead to corruption. The other big addition is voice acting. I'm sorry, but this requires my full attention. Yes. Now, finally, we know what Samus's friends sound like. This pirate Grey is definitely not my style. Huh. Maybe it was better when they were quiet. Thanks, Sam. It's nice that Samus isn't lonely this time out, but there's something strangely incongruous about these chatterboxers. I mean, would she really hang out with these guys? These pirates are more fragile. Overall, though, this is a very satisfying conclusion to the Metroid Prime trilogy and a worthy addition to the Wii's lineup. It may not silence detractors, but at least there's something on the system for people who have grown sick of Wii sports. Of course, now that I've finished the game, I'm going to go play Wii Bowling. I love that game. Metroid Prime 3 Corruption gets a 4. Out of 5. Catch an all-new X-Play, weeknights at 8, only on G4.